most in our dress code is um, no leggings, no flip flops, and no slides, no facial hair, you know, no shorts without pockets, and etc. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna cap or anything, but I don't think the dress code's that good here. Um, I feel like they treat, they're very biased, you know? Some girls wearing leggings, like, screw it, she's trying to look good, you know? She's trying to look good for the guys here. I'm not even lying or anything, but like, for example, slides. We should be able to wear slides if we're comfy. We're at, some of us are athletes. I'm not personally, you see me, I'm not an athlete. But, um, you know, like some, like for example, Stephen Perry, an athlete. His feet get tired from playing basketball. He just wants to wear some slides, you know? He's not trying to wear shoes all day. But for the most part, it's pretty good dress code. I like it. You know, Clovis North Broncos. But um, for the for the most part, it's, it's pretty good. I think the dress code doesn't let students express themselves and unnecessarily takes time away from class. That's a great answer. My second question today is, what happens if you get caught with dress code? If you get caught with dress code, you have to go sit in the office and wait for someone to call you back, which takes time out of class, and then you fall back and you're at class. That was a great educational answer, Brandon. Thank you. Now you see here, Clovis North, what we have to deal with. Hey, you're not a dress code. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stephen Perry, and I'm from Clovis North High School. Today we have another Clovis North victim, Ellen Hopkins. How are you, Ellen? I'm good. How are you? That's good. My, today, my first question is, what do you think about dress code? Um, I love her. I don't like the dress code. Not a fan. Why don't you like the dress code? Because we're not allowed to wear anything, really. Can you be more specific, Ellen? Um, ripped jeans are out of dress code, even though you're not showing much skin. Uh, and you can't even show your shoulders without being dress coded. And why do you think they dress code you because of that? Um, because it's distracting, but um, you can wear whatever you want in college. So. That's a great answer, Ellen. My second question today is, <laughs> what happens if you use dress code? Um, I don't really know. I've never gotten dress coded, but I hear that you have to change and wear like someone else's clothes, which is disgusting. Well, you hear that, Clovis North? Another victim again. <laughs> Today we're here at Clovis North with LA Officers. Back to you. <laughs> student. This is Lily Malili. How are you, Lily? I'm doing great. Thanks, Stephen. That's good. My, one of my questions today for you is, what are your opinions on dress code? You know, uh, when it comes to dress code, I kind of just want to be comfortable all the time. That sometimes requires leggings, and we can't wear that at school. So I have an issue with that. That was a great answer, Lily. One, my next question to you, what happens if you get dress code here at Clothes North? Um, well, you see, I haven't been caught in like three years, but when you do get dress coded, you do have to go to student services and they give you like some jeans and they're really uncomfortable and like not fitting and just mess up your whole day. Yeah, so. I understand. That's a great answer. Yeah. Well, you see Hold that? On. It also affects my education because if you don't wear the pants, you literally just go home or like you have to get your parents from out of work. So that affects your economic household you know regimen type deal and your education so i do not stand for that i think if a student is out of dress code i understand that it can affect other people if they're like not wearing clothes but i do think that leggings should be okay if they're wearing clothing on the body it should be okay in my opinion well back again with another video this is Lily Malili. Back to you. Hi, my name.
name is Steven Perry. I'm here at Clovis North High School with Mr. Gay. How are you, Mr. Gay? I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? Uh, I'm doing very well. Very well. My first question to you is, um, what are your honest opinions on dress code here at Clovis North? My honest opinions on dress code, I personally think it's good in a way where it gets you ready for the work world. Um, do I think it's distracting to other people? It's just depending on what you wear. Um, personally, if I made the dress code, I would let leggings be okay, just because of the fact that it would help my job with uh, the amount of dress codes we have. But I think I think it's good for for you guys growing up and getting in the work world, because there's going to be a dress code in the work world. That was a great answer. Awesome. My second question to you is, what is the purpose of having a dress code here at Clothes North? Uh, I, I kind of hit that one on the head on the last question, but the main purpose, I think, is getting you guys ready for the professional world, um, making um, a standard and having you guys follow that standard. Because when you guys do get to the work, work world, you're not going to get to wear whatever you want. Um, so I, I definitely think it prepares you um, for that next step in life. That was great. Thank you, Mr. Gay. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate your time. <laughs>